how to plan your first launch after you've just created the skeleton of your retreat, your membership, or your online program. If you're like, what is a launch? Don't worry, I'm gonna share with you that in this video, as well as the four things that I always do before I go to launch my program into the world. Hi, my name is Amber Hagberg, and if this is the first time that you're finding my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button because it helps others just like you make waves in the world where together we turn our gifts, our passions, our skills into online offers and sold out retreats to make massive change in the world. But it all starts with the work that we do on ourselves inside. So what is a launch? A launch is just you inviting someone into your program for an extended period of time. It's a holy sacred invitation to invite the right people to your party, the program, and or the retreat. The first thing before you go to sell your service, sell your retreat, is to get clear on why. Why are you so passionate about your offer, about your retreat? Why did you create it in the first place? In yoga, we talk a lot about the sankalpa or the intention. And in business, I like to talk about your why factor. Why is it that you're doing this? Why is it that you're so set out on this mission to help this group of people? What we want to do is connect to what it is that's motivating us every single day to show up, sell, and serve. When you know your why, the reason I'm so passionate about bringing this program or this retreat to life, I want you to grab a notepad, your notes app, Google document, and brainstorm all of your content. What and how? What can you share about the offer? What can you share about the retreat? What can you share about why you created this? What's included? Who's it for? What's the story behind it? How do you know it works? You're going to brain dump all of the different things that you could talk about, all of the different things that you could share about this program so that you're able to hit all different types of buyers. Some people need to know what's included. Some people want to know what the story is behind it. Some people connect to testimonials. You're just going to put it all out there. Just turn on some music and write. You'll have an abundance of different things that you can share, different ways that you can sh set, share, <laughs> different ways that you can sell your offer. And then if you're like me, you're just going to have that there to reference back to in the midst of your launch and you'll create as the days go by. But if you're someone who wants to pre-batch the content and write out all of the posts, write out all of the scripts for your lives, write out all of the emails before you hit go on the launch, then do that. The thing is, is if this is your first launch ever, then you don't know how you best work. And so you're just going to juggle and you're just going to play and find out what the best route is for you. I've done both. And for me, I know that I like to share and show up on social media, sell and serve from a place of inspiration day to day. So I have blocked hours of creativity. But if you're someone who likes to create and then just hit publish on the days or even put it into something that publishes it for you, then try that out. At least you know you have all of your content ideas in one place. The next thing that you're going to do is get clear on your goals. How many people? How many people do you want to enroll? Do you want to sign up? And how much money is that going to bring into your business based on the price of the offer? So that you're clear on the number and the income of your goal. And I want you to create two goals. I want you to create your first goal of like, okay, if I did this, I'll be super ecstatic. But oh my gosh, if I did this, I would be like, did that just happen? Is that possible? Did I just make, I want you just to stretch your capacity to dream of the results of what could happen. 
And then once you have your idea of the income goals and the amount of people that you want to enroll, you're going to either grab a bunch of empty notepads and put them all over your yoga space, your desk area, your mirror in the bathroom. And I want you just to fill it out with imaginary people, the perfect amount of people whether it's your stretched goal or it's your like, okay, this is the goal I'm really seeking. It's the one that I think is like, I think it's possible. Then you put that out there. If you want to, you can open up your notes app and you can write one through 10, one through 20, whatever your dream goal number is. And then you write down the income and you'll circle it. And then in the morning and at night, you envision it, you feel it, you see it happening. And you keep that with you all the way until the very end. It's so important that we hold the vision because 70% of people sign up last minute. And even if the engagement is low, even if no one's reaching out, there are people that are watching you from your the beginning of your launch to the end of your launch, and they're just not saying anything. And the more that you show up, the more that you sell, the more that you serve and you give value and you teach and you invite, the more you're going to get people to sign up last minute, which is why we have a goal. And then this is so important. You have an end date. How long can you hold the energy to talk about an offer, a retreat, a program? If it's a retreat, you're going to go all the way until you can't bring anyone else. It could be the start of the retreat. You may have other rules and regulations with the retreat facility. If it's an online program, you might have a start date and you want one week from the end of the launch till the start date of the program. Pick how long. Is it going to be one week that you launch a program, six weeks that you launch a program? I'll just give you a little recommendation that if it is your first launch ever, I would definitely extend this to be anywhere from six weeks to eight weeks because it's the first time. So you want to build brand awareness and recognition. And then you're just going to see what happens, but holding the vision all the way to the very end, because people are watching you now, people are learning about you now. And even if they don't sign up and work with you today, this round, this launch, they're ready for the next one. So we have to have an end date. Those are the four things that I recommend you do before you go to sell your offer. The first one being get clear on your why. The second one being getting all of your ideas of how you can sell this and what you can say and how you can share on one piece of paper. Then maybe you pre-batch it. The third thing is your goals. What is it that you're going to do? What is it that you're reaching towards? And the last thing is having a how long you're going to do this for. And then once you're ready to hit go, writing in your journal, saying a prayer, getting really clear on what this means for you, your business, the impact this has on your life, and then what this is going to do for others, how they're going to feel at the end of your program, the change that you're making in the world. And then you go all in. And one of my mentors recently told me like, go on vacation go on vacation when you're in the midst of launch. And it's like one of the best things that you can do because you get to be in your life, living your best life while showing up, sharing, serving, inviting others into your program with more of a detached emotional state of being because you're living your life while collecting sales in your sleep, while you're out having champagne, whatever it is you love to do on your vacation. So implement those four things before you go to launch your offer into the world. And then be sure to comment below and let me know what it is that you're ready to launch in the world. What is it that you're sitting on the edge of your seat? And if you're like, Amber, I don't have a retreat. I don't have an offer. Then that's why reach out to me. You can comment below Amplified Impact and I'll share with you the details of my offer program that walks you through step-by-step how to grow, nurture, and sell to your audience in such an authentic, organic way that you continue to have massive impact in the world. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you need support in so that I can continue to make personalized videos based upon your comments. And I will talk to you in the next video.